Uh, thank you for this opportunity to present the current status of uh, Korean women in science and technology, especially their uh, career ad uh, advancement at the top. Uh, let me begin with the well-known uh, gendered innovation framework, which addresses three aspects of uh, mm, women engagement in science and technology. Um, it is true that these days more and more attention is being given to uh, the other two uh, aspects, institutions and knowledge, essentially how we fix institutions and knowledge generation in SNT. Uh, but uh, I'd like to bring back uh, the importance of numbers again to this presentation, especially in the Korean context. Uh, because there are areas of uh, slow progress in fixing numbers in this country uh, for education and for career uh, entry and career advancement, especially for education. As mentioned earlier, we have still a small number of uh, female students going into engineering. As for career entry, we still have a small share of female graduates in new hirings, again mentioned in earlier presentation. And in this talk, I'd like to focus more on this career advancement, especially at the top. Uh, we still have a very uh, few women under, uh, uh, in the top positions, management and leadership positions in SNT. Essentially, women are very much underrepresented in SNT uh, fields. Uh, let me just begin with a couple of slides showing the past uh, trajectory or changes and trends in uh, women advancement uh, in SNT. Um, the first one, um, here's the trend of uh, uh, women in various organizations, especially holding um, uh, management positions. Uh, this is good news because overall uh, the trend is upward uh, very noticeably, but the next slide is showing the leadership position uh, in universities, we see the trend is not really uh, noticeably upward, but rather uh, for some positions it's actually stagnant, especially for, for example, this is a university um, statistics and uh, for deans uh, compared to department chairs, we know, we find that there are still few women holding such positions. Uh, also, in terms of a promotion in universities uh, and uh, other institutions, in fact, uh, this is universities and um, public research institutes. So we, for universities in the left uh, figure, um, there is some good news that uh, women are um, getting increasingly more promoted. In other words, uh, assistant to associate, associate to uh, full professors. But for public research institutes, uh, the, ra uh, the ratio of women in promotion uh, is not really that much uh, changing. And this is more uh, surprising just because it shows how women are performing in terms of research funding. Uh, this is the figure of uh, showing uh, the share of women principal investigators. Uh, for uh, government-funded projects, and we see there's a very interesting difference between the two years. Uh, this is the study uh, done for the five years between 2013 and 2017, and clearly, as I highlighted, uh, the share of women PIs, especially conducting uh, bigger projects, is in fact uh, decreasing. And uh, if you look into uh, individual years, uh, um, male PIs and female PIs, you see the ratio of uh, funding size between the two is roughly three. In other words, male PIs are conducting three times larger uh, projects in SNT on average. And even the trend is more or less stagnant. And um, this is another picture of uh, women principal investigators. Um, we see, again, uh, gender gaps in large size uh, R&D projects. And these gender gaps remain uh, virtually unchanged over the last 10 years. Although we see uh, women in PIs in general, which is uh, ju just the percentage of women uh, PIs in overall PIs, uh, has been actually increasing, as you can see from 6.4 to 10.9%, uh, but for PI, uh, as PIs of projects bigger than 1 billion um, Korean uh, won, uh, that's only from 5.1 to 6.7% uh, over the 10 years. And this is, uh, again, um, a very, very mind-boggling uh, 
pic, uh, picture just because women shares a, in both applicants and we, uh, and also winners for for projects um, are still uh, relatively uh, small. For generation, next generation researchers, this type of funding targets more or less younger uh, applicants, younger scientists and engineers. So uh, we see uh, women shares are relatively uh, high, but for leading research centers, this is essentially group research which requires a lot of management capacity and there's a very, very clear uh, gap and essentially um, uh, zero percent right, zero percent um, of women uh, finally selected for uh, leading uh, research centers. And if we look more into uh, how uh, women are performing in terms of research and development, especially for research evaluation, uh, there's also an interesting uh, figure showing up here because women are taking smaller shares of uh, small shares of uh, evaluators of R&D compared to their uh, actual share of uh, uh, the, the employment as uh, SNT faculty members. So, for example, women uh, take about 19% of SNT faculty in Korea, whereas uh, in terms of R&D uh, project evaluators, uh, which are very critical in terms of selecting the final projects, this is only 11.6%. And also, uh, I find this uh, result is quite interesting just because uh, this shows very clear gender gap in the perceptions of why women are performing so uh, bad in terms of uh, research evaluation pool. Just because um, female uh, respondents uh, dominantly say that this is more, uh, mostly due to the small share of women in decision-making groups. Th that's about 45%. So, in this uh, survey uh, conducted by the um, Korea National uh, Research Foundation, about almost 45% of women said that uh, the relatively small share of women evaluators in R&D is because the decision-making groups have a, a relatively smaller uh, portion of uh, women there. That's 45%, uh, to which only 8.5% of male respondents agreed, which is a really uh, surprising uh, difference uh, in the perceptions. And this final uh, major uh, statistical figure is quite um, alarming just because uh, virtually uh, no women uh, is really found in major science awards. So if you look at the last column, that's a more or less popular small size uh, awards, such as the Science Teacher of the Year. And here, uh, out of a total 611 awardees, uh, 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 about 140 are women. Whereas uh, the Korean equivalent of the Nobel Prize, which is uh, uh, the nation's best scientist award, there has been just a single female scientist winning this prize. And another top science award, which is Cast Science Award, the Korean Academy of Science and Technology Science Award, there are only few, two female winners so far since the beginning of uh, uh, the award. So um, the question is why there are so few uh, women uh, not in general, especially at the top. So the whole picture shows that this is not only just a sticky pipeline, but it's actually, uh, so this is not only a leaky pipeline, which is very common metaphor of uh, underrepresented women in SNT, but also it's very sticky at each tap. So that uh, towards the end of the pipeline, especially at the top, we are seeing increasingly fewer and fewer women in SNT. So um, uh, I had uh, this focus group interview uh, with women in science and technology. Uh, this is actually a group uh, interview done by uh, two organizations just two months ago, uh, the Korea uh, Academy of Science and Technology, and the other one is uh, uh, COFST, uh, Korea um, Federation of uh, Women, let's see, Korea Federation of Women Science and Technology Associations. And we um, invited uh, quite many uh, high achievers, essentially high achievers in uh, science and technologies. 
Uh, these are women, say, uh, professors and women uh, department chairs and also team heads and all kinds of leaders in different sectors. And they provided some of the explanations as uh, follows, such as uh, the nature of work really uh, forcing women to work around the work, uh, around the clock, and also the organizational structure and also uh, cultural aspects, especially uh, more or less uh, the attitude of male members or male colleagues uh, called the discrimination by favor, meaning that it's not uh, male members really discriminate female members by intention, but rather they try to give favors. But along the way, you know, women tend to be more or less losing their own capacities because they are more being uh, taken care of just too much. So those kinds of factors were identified uh, in this um, focus group interviews. And this uh, presentation essentially just about, uh, we, uh, about the fact that the very common fact that we don't really have uh, enough women in science and technology, but still we haven't been making very uh, good progress over the 10 or 20 years in Korea just because of very strong government uh, uh, policies. But still, uh, the point is we have something or still a long way to go, at least in terms of fixed numbers, especially at the top of the science and technology fields. I guess uh, my talk is very brief because um, today it's an online presentation so that uh, uh, the organizers really instructed that we should really keep uh, uh, on time. But uh, I'd like to really welcome any comments online and also maybe afterward uh, you may just contact me if uh, you have any suggestions or would like to share, uh, obtain these statistics. I guess that's all. Thank you very much for your listening.